Hello, my name's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. We're talking extreme decluttering today and I do videos about decluttering, minimalism and my no spend year. I have been decluttering my own home and other people's homes now so I have been able to see the whole range of decluttering strategies that people have tried and tested and not worked and when it comes to having too much stuff when we get to the point where we can't do it on our own that we're overwhelmed that's when I've been able to come in and share ideas and strategies that really do work on a daily basis so let's talk extreme decluttering tips the most important starting point for you is to schedule time for decluttering and for disposing of the items it's not just enough to plan out time for decluttering you must also plan out when exactly you're going to dispose of those items because if you're doing extreme decluttering you're going to have a lot of stuff and you need to get that out of your house as soon as possible otherwise it's going to sit there and look even more cluttered than when you started and that's not the aim of the game here so on your calendar i want you to circle a decluttering time or decluttering day and then a day that you're also then going to dispose of the items either through charity shops or the recycle center you need to have a plan of action when you're going to focus in on decluttering and disposing and before you get started on those declutter days you need to make sure that you've got everything you need to be successful when decluttering so grab some Recycle bins, grab some bags, grab some containers, make sure that you have the resources you're going to need to be able to declutter. You need to be able to sort your items into different categories. So having big baskets or bins or rubbish bins or rubbish bags is going to help you do that. Tip number two, you just need to clear your whole space of any dishes and any rubbish. So grab a bin bag for any rubbish that you can find immediately into the bin bag so that that is done and clear any dishes into the sink area so that you have got them ready to work on later on. Sometimes when we're decluttering we get a little bit overwhelmed about the everyday stuff and that's where clearing out the rubbish, emptying all the bins and all the bits and pieces that you can see on first glance out of the way so that you can actually see the stuff that you have. Those bits of rubbish are not things that you need to worry about, they don't need to be Bought about so they just need to go straight in the bin bag. Tip number three is to sort as you go and this needs to be sorting into containers not just picking something up. This is what I see a lot of. People will pick something up, they'll make a decision about that item but they don't put it anywhere to make that decision. They'll just put it back on a surface and then it's not dealt with, it's just there. You need to get in the habit of putting that into the right category so either donate, sell or recycle, anything you are keeping either needs to go into the place it's going to stay or it just needs to be dealt with in one of those three categories. You cannot just pick something up, make the decision and then leave it somewhere. You have to actually put it in the right place. And as you're sorting, you need to be realistic about what items are worth selling and that are actually of value that will get you some value back because you don't want to be spending time trying to sell items that are really only worth 50p or a pound. Try and sell the bigger ticket items, items that are new with tags or furniture pieces that are really worth something, rather than trying to get all the nitty gritty. If you're looking for extreme decluttering, you do not have time to do those nitty gritty sellings. So those are really good items that you could donate instead. Think of donating as an opportunity to give back to others. It is something that you've used, you've had value from, and then you're going to give that value to somebody else to benefit from at a small cost to them, rather than them having to spend a lot of money to get a similar item. Just a really good way of putting things back into the um, universe for other people to benefit from. And remember that the items that you're keeping in your keep pile should absolutely be things that you love, that you really enjoy, that serve a purpose, that are really useful. Make sure that they are valuable things to you. As you're going, make sure that you give yourself some breaks. Decluttering is a journey. You're going to need to have some rest breaks in between your decluttering as you go to make sure that you do that on a regular basis. Leave a comment below if you're enjoying this video so far. What's your best extreme decluttering tip that everybody can have a go at? Let us know below. 
And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I try and upload on a regular basis and let me know if there are any particular videos you would like to see. Which leads in nicely to tip number four, get everybody involved. If you've got people that live with you, get them involved in the process, either by them helping you to declutter your things or them decluttering their own things for you to declutter yours. So work on a strategy that is good for you. The more people that get involved, the quicker you're going to see the results. If you don't have anybody living with you, but you would like some help, then see if you can open any friends or family that can come over and support. They don't necessarily have to be there to make decisions. They could be somebody that helps with clearing the stuff and disposing of the stuff to the recycle centre or charity shops. They could do that element or collecting the rubbish. So think about ways that you can be strategic with your help so that you can maximise your time decluttering. And working with somebody can really make a big difference. I think the term is body doubling, where you have somebody working alongside you. Lots of people like watching cleaning videos while they're cleaning because it helps motivate them. The same goes for decluttering. If you've got somebody else with you that's decluttering as well as you, you are more motivated, you're quicker in your decision making, and you're able to bounce off each other's energy. So it does make a huge difference. And when you've got the family involved, you can really make it fun by making it a bit of a competition. How many items can they declutter? Can you do it in a certain amount of time and see who can get the most? So think about ways that you can make it more exciting. Tip number five when decluttering is to always reach for your favourites. I think we can get overwhelmed by trying to make decisions about everything, but actually we only need to make decisions about those maybe and those no's. When you're looking at a category of an item, so for example, your t-shirts, pick out your favourites that you reach for on a daily basis. You don't need to make decisions about those. Those are your favourites. You love those, but they are keepers. So take all those out of the equation. Then what you're left with is potentially maybes and no's. Those are the items that you need to work through. And I would then think about any no's immediately, things that don't fit, that are not good quality, or that don't feel nice, or that just don't suit your style, or have warped, or anything like that. Take those out there, immediate no's, and then just think about making decisions about those maybe items. That leads nicely on to tip number six, which is playing the yes or no game. If you're thinking extreme decluttering, you need to make decisions quickly. You do not want to be hanging around on those maybe items for too long. So I would try and play the yes or no game. If it's a yes, you want to keep it, then amazing, you know that you love that item, that's an immediate keep. Anything that is a no are items that are just going to go. So if you think immediately, you see that item and you think, no, nope, don't like it, that's a go. That's going. You need to make those quick decisions. Anything that's a maybe and you're not ready to make a decision on now, I would just put that in a yes, I'm keeping it category for now or into a maybe category. But I would try and avoid making those difficult decisions on your first go round, because actually when you come back, you can make that decision a few months later and know whether or not you really want to keep it. It'll be easier to make that yes or no decision about that item. And tip number seven is to reduce duplicates for an easy win. There will be many items around your home under different categories that you will have duplicates of. Those aren't really decisions that need to be made. Those are all the same item or extremely similar items that you probably only need one or two of maximum. So any of the excess, they need to go. So you don't need to have 10 of the same cable. If you think about how many times you have got something using that cable, if you only have like two devices that use that cable, get rid of the rest. You don't need to stockpile cables. And think about those duplicates as a way of just reducing down that category. You still have some of those items. You're still going to keep some, but you're just getting rid of the extra that you have of that. So if you have lots of the same tools, then maybe you only need to keep one, maybe two maximum. The rest are not needed. It's very unlikely that you're going to need all of those items. So really think about reducing quickly those duplicate items that you have. There you have it. There are seven extreme decluttering tips that can help you really work through your spaces really quickly and efficiently. So you can really get through the stuff and declutter your home. Don't get discouraged if it takes time. It is a process. It is a journey when you're decluttering. It can take more time than you think because you have probably got more stuff than you think. It just comes at you constantly. But it will get there and you will get there and you will see the end result very soon.
So keep decluttering, keep working through those areas. Let me know in the comments what's your biggest decluttering challenge so far as you've been extreme decluttering around your home. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this video if you want to see more videos about decluttering, minimalism and my no spend year. I should be back for more videos soon. Take care. Bye.